Hey guys, another update here. We got zone two done for our irrigation. I'm gonna show you all that here in just a moment. Hey guys. All right, as you know from the last video, we got zone one done. We were able to get zone two done the next day. So as you know, here is our well set up. We had it moved, it was over here. Here is the specs for it, or not specs, I should say, um, way it looks. We got turn off valves for different things. We added a spigot. So now what I'm gonna show you is over here, this is for zone two. Now, zone two will be buried. We have the pipe going around. all the way to over there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and turn on zone two and show you everything that it covers but all of this will be uh we're going to dig it under the ground so that way we have no problems um moving our vehicles back and forth on the property here and running that over all righty here we go okay guys zone two irrigation starts here now we put an end cap on here because eventually we will be adding a zone three, um, probably later on. So we do have this set up to where we could easily add on to it. Now this is by our shed. This is where we have the ice cream bananas and some of the uh, dwarf Cavendish and other little varieties. Now we have not been able to weed yet, just yet. Uh, We've been doing it in stages, but I'm gonna show you. Zone two starts here. We do have uh, a spineless um, banana, I think it's called prickly pear uh, cactus. I'm sorry, prickly pear cactus. This is a pawpaw tree that's come back. The thin line. And then our ice cream bananas are doing great. Got a rack right there. Got another pup, couple of pups. That one should be producing a rack soon. Um, the bot the way I tell is with the banana trees, the bottoms get really fat all of a sudden. And that's when you know it's pushing up a, uh, a rack or a bloom. Now, don't mind the mess. We kind of stored stuff here. All right, so over here is the rest of zone two. And we've been using this area to plant even more bananas. As you can tell, our ice cream. And then we got another rack right there that was on the house. We didn't even know it was there until the uh, bloom fell off the roof. <laughs> uh, we got dragon fruit, miracle fruit, and in the red bucket is the Jacopa Cava. We got pups. These are the Dwarf Cavendish, and we got a rack right back there too. And as you can tell, we do the chop and drop. So that way the bananas are constantly getting their nutrition. Another um, dragon fruit. And then in the back back here, these two right here, those are plantains. So they are gonna get almost 20, under 20 feet tall, but we're gonna, we've actually gonna be uh, trying to grow plantains this year. And we got room to add more bananas. So we wanna make this um, all ice cream bananas eventually in this area. Pineapple, hibiscus, dragon fruit, 
some more bananas. We have the oriental pineapples here. Um, another hibiscus. Here is my firebush. And we do have a banana tree behind it, but it's not growing as fast as the firebush. More ice cream. This one is the truly tiny banana. And then lo and behold, I guess we got a loofah growing under the house from last year when I was hosing off all those seeds. So that one right there, that's a loofah flower. We'll probably let it go, but I'll just have to make sure it doesn't climb on anything. Another pineapple. And then we have a beetle leaf right here. And then this aloe plant bloomed. It was really pretty. Humming, the hummingbirds loved it. And then this is our herb garden. We got another dragon fruit there. That's our cilantro, oregano, a papaya, bananas. I actually have one um, shampoo ginger that grew from Wormy Queen. Um, on Instagram, you can find her. One of my moringas. This tunnel is nothing but passion fruit loaded with blooms. I got two hazelnut trees. I'm going to be planting somewhere else. Some more herbs, dill weed, more bananas, and then this is our mulberry. And we trimmed this mulberry down, and lo and behold, we actually got more fruit. Let me see if I can zoom in on one. They're kind of tiny right now, but they're kind of white fuzzies. See if I can get one that's not in the sun, but the whole thing is in the sun. Yeah, there's one right there. And then this is our passion fruit archway going into our house. And as you can tell, this is, I have fruit all over, but this is the best spot to see them. Donald loves these. On our deck. The only bad part is, is I'm constantly pulling the vines back in because they do like to sprout out. Oh, like all these vines, I don't want them to get into the house. I mean, the house is bad enough as it is, but um, I'm constantly pulling them out and weaving them back into the catapanel because we got to buy another one. And here's a up view of the herb garden. And we do have a banana rack this <laughs> I just don't think it was fertilized enough but as you can tell this right here the bananas are not there you go there's a better view little tiny things but that's okay Anything you grow is good enough. All right, I'm gonna go over here to the last part of zone two. Here is another one of my moringas. It's almost as tall as the house. Actually, it looks like it's a little bit above the house now. Um, this is a cluster of different banana trees that we have. Here is my other moringa. Not as tall, but it's producing the leaves and then over here is the last part of this zone we do have a cap on it um, we're hoping that uh, 
will be able to then add into the greenhouse garden area. But this one is watering not only Mexican sunflowers, the uh, oriental pineapples, plants that we have. It's also taking care of this gorgeous loquat tree. This is year three, I believe, for this loquat. And then also our lemongrass, one of them. We have several clumps now. But there you guys go. This is all of zone two. And we put the cutoff valve for zone two right here. That way the pipe that's running um, in front of me and behind me that go will goes out to this side. If we ever need anything to get turned on or to add to it, we can do it with no problems. All right, and remember, grow something for your family.